Hey guys, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we have a brand new product out from Audio Modern. Uh, you know them, we've covered Opacity, we've covered Paths, we've covered Riffer. Today we're going to check out Playbeat, brand new groove sequencer from them. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so let's check out Playbeat. Now, this is a standalone plugin, and it is a random groove sequencer. You guys remember Riffer? Um, that was a random riff generator, mostly doing melodic um, melodies and stuff with a playable instrument. This is going to use your own samples to make a groove in a very similar way. So I'll show you real quick. You're going to load it up, and then over here you can import samples. So what I used is just um, some of the Black Octopus Leviathan sounds we had on deal a while back. So um, all you really do is you take your samples over here and you simply drag and drop them just like that. And now that's right there. If you want to adjust the start time of that sample, just go right here and you can adjust when it starts. Okay. So you're going to have four samples here. So you're going to load up like, you know, kick, a hi-hat, snare, clap, something like that. Um, so I have a kick, um, a, a hi-hat, and a clap right now. And then this one is just empty. Now, you can use it just like a normal sequencer. So, you know, instead of using like the piano roll view in Cubase or anything, this is going to operate more like a sequencer, kind of like Fruity Loops. So just check it out like this. So of course you can operate it like that, but the real magic comes in when you randomize things. Now, you click here to go to all and then hit the dice and it'll randomize everything. Now, that was what I was just doing right there is infinity mode. So. Let's kind of check it out. You can randomize everything individually. So if you just want to randomize this, hit that, and it'll just do um, for that hi-hat. So you can randomize per sample, just like that, just by clicking and then hitting the dice there. Now we also have steps pitch and volume you can hear when i hit the dice the first time um, the pitch was going up up and down on some of those samples and everything so if you go to pitch here it shows you exactly you know what the pitch is going to be for each of those samples so you can pitch it up you can pitch it down um whole octaves um step half steps semitones stuff like that so just hit that on all and it'll redo it just like that So as you can hear, you know, those samples are now pitched and they sound different than what I was just initially doing. Same thing with the volume. So this is the volume 94, 101, 91. You can adjust that too, just, just like that. So, you know, while the randomization function is kind of like the key thing here, you can operate it just like any sequencer, you know. Um, so what I did was just change the octave really, really low on those first two kicks, and you heard it was just kind of like a low, muddy sound. Anyway, so we can randomize the entire thing. We can randomize just the steps, just the pitch, just the volume. We can randomize per sample. You can solo and mute everything down here. You can adjust the um, speed, so... Now it's in uh, quarter note triplets. So 
So if you find a sequence you really like, and you can lock it right there, like with that lock button. So if you just want to randomize just the pitch or the volume or anything. Anyway, so that's what you can do with it. You can really generate your own grooves with the click of a button, and you can you know set how many um, of those hits you want. So right here, so there you go. You set the like the minimum and the maximum right there. So if I say I just want one maximum of one, minimum of one, it's only going to put one note there in the in the sequence as you can see so I have it on all you can uh, of course do that per sample as well if you only want one kick for that whole um, sequence then just do that so there are a few things you can do with it and here you can set the maximum pitch the minimum pitch same with the volume um, so if you don't want it going like you know the kick going crazy down low and then up high and sounding kind of goofy all you do is just adjust that right in here. You can set the octaves and the actual, um, you know, the key or the tone of the note of that's the pitch that's actually being played from, you know, G, F, G sharp, C, stuff like that. So if you over here, you go to infinity mode and it'll just generate a new thing um, every time. So let me change this back. So now we've got it on all, it's all unlocked. And then we hit infinity mode and let's see what happens. You can see the shuffle there. Now it's just kind of doing random stuff right now. So of course, what you can set the, um, it syncs to your DAW's tempo over here, which you can see right there. So if you only want, you know, one or one or two claps to hit in that whole sequence so the claps aren't going crazy, all you do is just highlight it there, the clap, and then of course number of steps. You don't want six claps going throughout the whole sequence, so you just adjust that a bit say down to two you can also just lock those in place because you know for the beat to sound consistent you're gonna want those claps you know in a, in a certain spot each time you can do the same thing for the pitch so the clap is not going up and down basically there are a lot of different customization options you can do um, because of course, you know, if you do randomly generate something, uh, sometimes it sounds bad and sounds completely random. That's why the the you know the targets here are very important, so you know exactly how many claps you want in that, where they where they're going to be placed. You can lock them into place just like that. Same with the kicks. It's really helpful um, to have like the hi hats and the stuff like that. Um, or like these random percussions the kicks and the claps will stay the same or wherever you place it and then you've randomized those hi-hats especially with the pitch and you get a really um, you know dynamic groove that you can also change each time with the infinity mode here so it's really really useful um, you know for like drum and bass stuff even just cinematic scoring you can get a really nice usable loop here very quickly without placing everything in the piano roll because that can be a real pain in the butt to do um, so yeah and of course to record all of this and get it into your DAW they have a very handy feature here in the manual so that's recording specifically <clears throat> specifically for Cubase and of course um, Ableton there Logic Bitwig Studio Pro Tools Studio One Digital Performer Reason FL Studio so they have pretty much every one of the major dolls there show you exactly how to do it we're just going to record that as a MIDI track 
So that is Playbeat. It's a brand new product. Um, you know, it's really exciting and interesting uh, concepts that are at play here with the algorithmic random generation and stuff like that and kind of artificial intelligence, um, which really, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, these computers aren't going to steal the jobs of composers or producers, but they can certainly um, enhance it in ways like that because you set the parameters and it does the rest. So yeah. Playbeat, Audio Modern, really cool stuff. Check it out, especially if you have Riffer and you enjoy that one. Um, this is obviously very similar, but with uh, drum grooves instead of you know melodic instruments. So yeah, thanks so much, guys. This has been Playbeat, Audio Modern. Brian with Audio Plugin Deals. Remember to subscribe, turn on those notifications. You stay up to date when we release new videos and new live streams. So thanks so much, guys. I will see you next time.